Welcome to the Armani Talks YouTube channel. I'm your host, Armani Talks. In this channel, I'm covering communication skills for you to level up your way with words and become much more articulate. In today's episode, we're entering the world of social skills and we're going to be talking about how to deal with disagreements. Roughly around 2019, I was focusing on the consulting side of the Armani Talks business. And in order to learn more about consulting, I was following some uh, consulting Twitter accounts who would consistently give out a lot of free advice. They talk about how to find proper leads, how to follow up with the leads, how to schedule a discovery call, how to close the client, and much more. I began following them and taking a lot of their advice in. One day, there was some drama that was brewing. Uh, there was another big Twitter account who was not in the consulting side of things, uh, but she had a lot of opinions about uh, the advice that these consultants were giving out. She said that one of the advice that she hated was the question, what is your budget? And this is one of the advice that a lot of the consulting side of Twitter would give out. Uh, they would be like, hey, consultant, once you're wrapping up the discovery call, you ask the lead, hey, what is your budget? And from there, you're capable of coding them effectively. This lady, she didn't like that practice at all. She wanted the consultant to be like, hey, this is how much the project will cost. Take it or leave it. So she was saying that these consultants were giving very poor advice and there was some drama that was brewing. These big consultants were calling out this lady this lady was calling out these consultants and I was just over here eating my popcorn. No, but seriously, I was looking at this and immediately my preconceived notions made me want to take the side of the consultants uh, because us consultants, we got to stick together, right? But something about this lady, she was saying something that Seemed like it was making sense, but I couldn't quite see it at the moment. Roughly one year passes on by. And as one year passes on by, I realized that uh, these YouTube videos are great. But the problem with these YouTube videos at times is that it's a little too scattered. I wanted a place where I could organize all my videos into classes. So I looked into a pl platform like Skillshare and I was like, you know, I should be making some classes. You know, I should be editing these classes. So I make a posting on Fiverr and Upwork for people to edit my classes, which pretty much means to just add the bullet points at the end, uh, create a nice little introduction, uh, th that kind of basic work. But the thing is, I didn't necessarily know how much to quote the project for. So I said, like, there's this little option within Fiverr and Upwork that says um, to be determined. So I make my job posting live and eventually multiple people begin requesting me for the job position. I began interviewing a few people and there was this one guy, I believe his name was Ali. And Ali was like, hey, um, I'm interested in the project. I was like, cool, uh, we're over here uh, talking. And then at the end, uh, he's like, well, what's your budget? And I'm like, what's my budget? And I'm thinking, well, I don't know anything about what the budget is even supposed to be. I don't know if this is one of those things where it's $100 per video or $5 per video because it just seems so subjective. So I was like, um, uh, I don't know, man, like $7 per video. And when I said that, this dude, Ali, was like, that's one of the lowest prices I've ever heard. Never mind, the, the deal is off. I was like, whoa, 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 wait a minute, bro. How much are you expecting from this? I mean, you don't want $7, like, what do you want? And now I'm putting the ball back in his court, and he's like, well, $15 would seem nice. <laughs> and I'm like, Okay, uh, I could do $15. And just like that, the deal was closed. But it was the principle of the matter. You, my dude, 
you have such strong opinions regarding what you should get paid. Why don't you tell me, hey, it's $15 per video. Why do you have me doing this little guessing game? And let's say that I'm not uh, successful in this guessing game. You are going to show an attitude. Suddenly, I started to understand this lady's perspective. She is right. Uh, I mean, I get why they're saying the whole, um, what is your budget question? Because it leaves more room uh, for you dealing with different clients. But I would say I agreed with the lady more. Whenever someone is coming to a consultant or some person of authority to get a job done, they want the uncertainty removed. They don't want more uncertainty. So when you go up to this person and be like, okay, well, it's $300, take it or leave it. This may sound rude at first. You may be thinking subconsciously, well, what if this person can't afford $300? But in reality, this person appreciates you much more for it because now they're like, well, at least I know. Even though I can't afford $300 for the time being, at least I know. I know that now I, I have a certain amount that I need to save up for. So that's my personal philosophy in regards to all of this. A lot of the times, disagreements happen because we're seeing one perspective mainly. And the reason we're seeing this perspective mainly is because we have a thing called a presupposed notions. And these presupposed notions happen because of our experiences. I automatically took the side of the consultants because I happen to be a consultant. I didn't necessarily understand the perspective of this lady until a year passed on by and I had to adopt the perspective of the lady because I was now purchasing the service of a consultant. So whenever you're getting into disagreements, the main thing you want to just do is pause and be like, which perspective am I taking right now? Is there a chance that the other perspective can be right? And simply asking that question allows you to calm down rather than just lash out like a lot of those consultants did. The lady was not attacking them. The lady was attacking their ideas. So whenever you can view it like that, I can't necessarily attack the person, but I can attack their ideas and vice versa. It will bring out a level of composure in you, a composure that hopefully may allow you to see the other side, even if you do not agree with it. So if you enjoyed today's talk and you want to learn more about social skills, be sure to hit that like for me right on below and stay subscribed to the channel for the latest videos on social skills, on charisma, how to listen better, and much more. I thank you very much for joining the Armani Talks YouTube channel and I'll catch you next time.